standard 4 evs 1 good afternoon my dear children before we begin with our lesson let me ask you a question do you all like to travel oh wow i can see you all smiling and saying a big yes everyone likes to travel traveling is so much of fun you get to see new places and also learn new things but would traveling be possible without transport no so my dear children today we are going to learn the new lesson transport and communication now what does transport mean in simple words the movement or transfer of people animals or goods from one place to another is called transport now let us see what is communication communication is the exchange of ideas messages or information between people it helps us to stay connected with our loved ones transport and communication has brought the world closer transport now here in this picture you can see the different modes and means of transport different modes and means of transport were used at different times in history but if you see the transport we use nowadays are faster and safer than the olden days the invention of the wheel long long ago stone age man saw logs of wood and round boulders rolling down mountain slopes now boulders are like big pieces of rocks so he kept wondering how these stones came down rolling how is it even possible then he thought a lot and through his observations he got the idea of the wheel then he started making the wheel olden days planks of wood were used to transport objects later by attaching wheels to these planks the speed of transport increased so time and effort were saved this is how the invention of wheel became an important step in the progress of mankind it was the great invention that changed history do you know in modern times even if we have ultra modern means of transport that means the transport we see around us nowadays in some parts of the world men and animals are still used for the purpose of transport it is very surprising that people and animals are still being used for transport let us see some examples yaks are used in areas that are difficult to reach camels in the desert and palkins or dolies in mountainous areas where vehicles don't go due to the slopes or no proper roads transporting water water and wind are substances that flow pipes are used to transport these substances since ancient times pipes or canals are used to transport water transporting mineral oil and natural gas mineral oil and natural gas are combustible substances combustible means the substances that catches fire so it is safer to transport these substances only through pipes transporting crude oil now crude oil is the oil that is naturally available to us deep down underground so this crude oil is transported from the oil well to the refinery through pipelines now refinery is a place where this crude oil which has so many other materials mixed in it okay which is processed so after refining it is then transported to the market place through pipelines 
communication obtaining or sending various types of information is called communication now you can see in this picture a girl is talking on the phone a man is reading the newspaper and a boy is watching news they are actually getting some information they are getting to know something new so all these are means of communication ancient means of communication years ago messages were sent by tying a letter to the foot of a pigeon then slowly during the time of kings when they wanted to send messages from one kingdom to another they had these people who were called as runners so messages were sent through these runners then in later times the telegrams and the postal services came into use but all these methods were very slow as compared to the modern methods but nowadays we have new techniques for very quick communication for example the mobile phone smartphone whatsapp video call google meet zoom etc communication is now used in every field so with the help of these we can easily communicate with several people at the same time do you know now in the beginning man used gestures and facial expressions and different kinds of sounds to communicate with each other and later on they understood that these sounds had a particular meaning which slowly led to the development of languages after the spoken language man invented writing he began to carve his thoughts onto the walls of caves and pieces of wood in some of the very old caves and temples you will see these carvings now do you know animals also communicate let us see cats dogs sparrows and crows they make different sounds in different circumstances like if you know they make certain specific sounds when they are in danger when they recognize someone when they say food or when they are hurt so by their sounds they know what the other animal is saying this means that animals also communicate with each other and they also send and receive messages now my dear children those who have pets at home will understand because you have a way of communicating with your pet local and live forms of entertainment now my dear children you must have seen a magic show or a puppet show now these are live performances which are happening in front of you earlier people used to go to the circus which is again a form of entertainment and it is a live performance now some of the other examples of these local and live forms of entertainment are the shahir bioscope street play clown etc means of entertainment that transmit programs projector television radio and computer are all means of entertainment and nowadays we use them a lot we enjoy the programs on these devices but we cannot see the person performing live they are filmed and recorded and then it is transmitted to us which means it is shown to us on tv or on internet or on the projector we watch we can see and hear the programs using these devices nowadays the use of mobile phones has increased you see everyone is either talking or playing working or watching something on a mobile phone but do you know 
sparrows are disturbed by the waves coming from these mobile phones due to which they are disappearing from the environment you hardly get to see any sparrows nowadays earlier there were so many sparrows but now if you see the number has reduced so somewhere we human beings are responsible for this try to use our means of transport and communication wisely we must not use it excessively now we have to use it we cannot stop using mobile phones but use it wisely so means of transport and communication are to be used as needed excess use of these means is harmful for us and for all the living things as well as for the environment so my dear children i hope you understood the lesson fill in the blanks the invention of the wheel is an important step in the progress of mankind mineral oil and natural gas are transported through pipes a textbook is used for getting information on various topics answer the following how are the new techniques of communication helpful to us communication is now useful in every field with the help of media such as radio tv internet mobile phones etc we can easily communicate with several people at the same time man made satellites are used for this purpose newspapers periodicals books etc are also means of communication why are sparrows disappearing from our environment recently the use of mobile phones has increased the waves coming from the mobile phones have disturbed the sparrows hence sparrows are disappearing from our environment